Thank you. Cool. Cool. Thanks, Matthew. All right. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to the talk on the applied biological control of the banded fruit weevil species complex. Uh, just to introduce the research team, first of all, um, obviously myself on the uh, um, left-hand side, then Dr. Julian Aran, who's a weevil taxonomist based at CIRAD. Uh, Pia and Prof. Milan, who need no introduction from my side, and then the CIRAD and INRA collaborators who we worked with for the taxonomy uh, at the top of the screen. Okay, so uh, Flectinus Callosus sensulatu is a species complex of about eight uh, uh, cryptic species. Uh, they're native to the Cape Floristic region of South Africa, and they're short snouted or intermine weevils. Uh, of these eight species, uh, two, Flectinus callosus sensu strictu and Flectinus zerophilus, are known as the banded fruit weevils, and these are economically significant pests of deciduous fruit, uh, grapevine, and berries. Uh, causing both primary damage, as you can see on the left, bottom, and middle of the of the screen, and also being a phytosanitary uh, concern, as Renata mentioned. Uh, on the right hand side, you can see a weevil uh, hiding in a in a grey bunch. Okay, so the current control uh, consists of integration of physical, cultural, and chemical methods. Uh, microbial biological control is an emerging field uh, using uh, intimate pathogenic nematodes or EPNs, and also intimate pathogenic fungi or, or EPF. Now, the adults are flightless and they're mobile and they occur above ground, so they're a good target for intimate pathogenic fungi uh, whose spores can't move to, to infect insects. Um, while the larvae and the pupae are good targets for EPNs. Uh, as Murray mentioned, uh, these can actually move in the soil and locate uh, cryptic insects. Okay, so for the EPF, we tested two Bivera uh, isolates, including Bivera bassiana PPRI5339, uh, which is the active ingredient to the product broadband. However, in spite of previous encouraging results uh, on this isolate, uh, we found quite low and variable mortality uh, in all the trials. So this brings into question the economic viability of, of this uh, uh, product or isolate. Uh, but we, what we did find was high levels of native uh, intimate pathogenic uh, fungi infections uh, with genera like Bivaria and Metarisium being found. Um, and this, yeah, this is quite interesting. We'll get to that in a second. For the EPNs, we used Murray Sananima Yerchalamense, which were culture, cultured in vitro. Uh, in 48-hour lab, uh, or, or, or screened in the lab, uh, um, and assessed 48 hours later, uh, the larvae infected with uh, 200 infective juveniles, which are the infective stage of these nematodes per insect, at a 27 to 55% infection, which is reasonable. And interestingly enough, the pupae had the same or even higher level of infection uh, with half or even quarter of the, of the amount of nematodes, so they're quite a bit more susceptible. Uh, we also conducted a semi-field trial using these EPNs, um, the uh, weevil larvae were reared in the lab and then buried in these mesh cages, as you can see on the left-hand side of the screen in the orchard floor. Um, they were exposed to the nematodes for 96 hours, and we got reasonable levels of control, uh, with 50% actually being considered adequate for, for, for field control. Uh, what's important to note is that under normal conditions, these uh, larvae will be exposed for much longer time than 96 hours. They occur in the field for a few months. So as long as the nematode persists, uh, they, they can have action against the, against the uh, larvae. And there was also a, a significant difference between our two weevil species in susceptibility noted under field conditions. Interestingly enough, not under lab conditions. So in conclusion, the adult weevils were unfortunately resistant against all the EPN and EPF isolates we tested. Uh, there's a need for semi-field trials with products, EPF products registered against weevils uh, to see what the actual efficacy is and to better understand that interaction. Uh, and we might also need to find isolates with, with higher virulence. Sinonima uh, Yerchalamensa has potential for controlling uh, definitely the larvae and quite possibly the pupae under field conditions. And interestingly enough, these native uh, uh, fungi and nematodes that infected our weevils under natural conditions is definitely something to investigate uh, further uh, um, in conservation biological control. That's an that's a understudied research field. Uh, I wish to thank the following people and institutions and also the audience uh, of this talk. Thanks so much. <laughs>